PCMRP versions 8.56 and higher contain the ability to automatically store and process credit cards. First, let's examine how credit cards can be entered and stored when entering a sales order. I will start by selecting Modules, Sales Orders, and New. In this case, I will select Cash and Carry as the customer is paying by credit card and the items are in stock so will be shipping today. I will select Visa for the terms, will call for the shipping method, and press the OK button. I will type in AR for Arrow and select Arrow as my customer. I will type in my quantity, 10. I'll type in a little bit of the description, BE for bearing, and press the return button. I'll select the button, the bearing, and then press the OK button. Now I can select this customer's credit card by pressing on the drop down list box. Please note that the PCMRP can store unlimited credit card numbers per customer. If the customer asks us to use a new credit card, I can press the plus button and then press the new card button and enter the new card information. The more information that registers as a match when we process the credit card, the lower the rates will be. Since I'm not entering a new card, I'll go ahead and hit the cancel button. Now I'm going to enter the date required, 12-12-2012. And now I can press the Finish button to save my invoice. Since I have Auto Accounting on, which is set by Option 8 in the Configuration, Settings, and Utilities module, PCMRP will go directly to the Accounting Module's Cash and Carry Data Entry screen. Here you can see PCMRP is automatically set to debit checking and cost of goods sold. Incidentally, PCMRP could be set to automatically debit a credit card chart of account number instead of the checking account. If we were to click on the credit card, uh, the credit tab, we would see that it is set to automatically credit business income. I'll now process the credit card by clicking on the process credit card button. It usually takes around two seconds for the credit card to be charged. If I click on the comments tab, I can see all the matches that allowed the credit card to be processed. If it had failed, the comments would contain the non-matching conditions that prevented the charge from going through. Pressing the Save button will save my transaction. I then click on OK and Yes to print out the invoice. I can display, print, or email the invoice. In this case, I will just display the invoice. I hope this video shows you just how easy it is to process credit cards with PCMRP.